So let me introduce you to the Gateway Program, which plans to transform the Northeast Corridor Railway Line. It will connect New Jersey with the heart of New York City. This ambitious $16 billion project promises to lay down new tracks, construct two additional tunnels beneath the Hudson River, and completely replace the century-old rail infrastructure that's causing so many headaches for commuters. But with infrastructure that's already more than 100 years old, this mega-project has been long overdue. Well, if you look at the satellite images of the place at the moment, it looks like a complete mess. So how do they want to fix all of this? And what's the exact plan for this undertaking? Welcome to Legendary Builds. I'm Rylan. Now let's take a look at the prospects of this amazing project. With a population over 8.4 million and a whopping $1.2 trillion in economic output, the impact of New York City goes far beyond its borders. This center of culture and business drives the East Coast, and its success is tied to the well-being of the entire region. However, the importance of New York City goes much deeper than just numbers. The greater area is a buzzing transportation hub for millions. Over a million people travel daily to work in the city, showing its economic strength. But beneath the surface lies a hidden problem. Any guesses? Well, it's the North River Tunnels. These aging tunnels are only 16 kilometers long, holding a vital piece of the Northeast Corridor, a major train line that connects Washington, D.C. to Boston and beyond. Even though they connect just two big cities, they're incredibly important. Every day, they handle 450 trains carrying 200,000 passengers, which makes them the busiest stretch of railway in all of North America. But there's one big and disturbing problem. The tunnels are more than 100 years old and have been damaged severely in 2012 by Hurricane Sandy. Also, New York Penn Station is criticized for having a confusing plan and too few spaces, even though it's the busiest train hub in the country. It seems like the best answer would be to fix the tunnels and make Penn Station look better, but building in New York City is, well, expensive and hard to organize. If they close the station for repairs, it would cause a paralyzing transportation problem, make the traffic worse, and cost the city a lot of money. So, how are they planning to overcome these problems? Well, here's the catch. The Gateway Initiative's main component, the River Passage, has a price tag of up to $16.1 billion. For the United States, this represents one of the most expensive public projects ever. Nevertheless, this outlay does not furnish a comprehensive view. Although it's a substantial investment in American rail, it's nothing compared to the trillions of dollars that Europe has spent on rail over the past 20 years. The United States rail system still has a long way to go. Borrowing water from the Hudson River to build a new railroad tunnel isn't a completely new idea. An earlier initiative that sought to do the same thing before the Gateway Program even began was the Access to the Region's Core, or ARC, project. In 2010, ARC was postponed for political reasons, despite initially proposing the construction of two tunnels to alleviate congestion. The first version of this project, the ARC Tunnel, was spearheaded by a team of Port Authority of New York and New Jersey many years ago. The project was going really well and in the right direction, but political maneuvering ultimately doomed it. Under the prior federal administration, the Gateway Project had encountered comparable problems and was severely delayed. But the present government got back to work. The Gateway Program arose barely four months after ARC was cancelled. The current concept calls for building a single two-track tunnel rather than the four new tracks that were originally envisioned. In addition to the two restored tubes of the North River Tunnel, the Hudson Project aims to provide four tracks under the Hudson River. To achieve this, the project starts by excavating a new tunnel about a mile away from the existing one. This approach ensures uninterrupted service, considering the vital role the current system plays in regional and national transportation. Initially, a modern 21st century tunnel will connect Newark to Penn Station, New York. Subsequently, each tube of the existing 113-year-old tunnel will undergo full rehabilitation. This comprehensive approach ensures four fully functional tubes to serve millions of commuters for the next century. Given that most of the construction occurs underground, 
surface level disruptions will be minimal. Moreover, the new tunnel will be slightly longer than the old one to minimize interference with the developed areas above. Undertaking a project of this scale beneath the Hudson presents significant challenges, especially considering the century-old infrastructure. Prior to commencing work, extensive geotechnical tests were conducted to accurately map out utility locations. This precautionary measure helps prevent disruptions to essential services, such as power supply, which could affect tens of thousands of people. Because of its size and complexity, this megaproject needs a lot of money from a lot of different groups. This means that delays in putting it into action are not a surprise. For many years, the government has secured $4 billion in federal funds and accounted for all state and local shares. Additionally, the government is in the process of finalizing a commitment for an extra $7 billion in federal support by summer's end. By the close of this year, a total commitment of $16 billion, with $12 billion from the federal government, will mark the largest ever investment in modern mass transit. Construction is already well underway, signifying an irreversible momentum towards a 21st century rail system. The joint effort between the government and states is finally fully funded, ensuring progress. Construction began on both sides of the Hudson in November 2023. In New York, the government's concrete casing project at Hudson Yard is in full swing, crucial for linking the new Hudson River Tunnel to New York Penn Station and Moynihan Train Hall. On the New Jersey side, preparations for the new tunnel, including bridging under a local highway, are also in progress. The government aims to reach a point by year's end where the cost of turning back far outweighs the necessity of moving forward. This urgency drives the government to swiftly finalize funding and maintain construction momentum on both sides of the Hudson. The goal is to have substantial construction in progress before year end, cementing the government's commitment to see this project through to completion. According to the latest plans, the new tunnel is slated for completion by 2035, with full renovation of the old tunnels expected by 2038. Now, depending on your point of view, these changes may be good or bad, but it's important to keep in mind that the suggested redesign is not yet finalized, even though the goal is to make the experience of passengers better. Also, rough plans have been made for new train lines and platforms, but these plans could still change. So what will happen to people in and around New York City because of these changes? Well, we can expect big changes in how people get around and commute in the area. About 200,000 people use the 113-year-old system every day, but it often gets stuck and moves slowly. The service will be more dependable, resilient, and faster after the changes are made. With fewer delays, workers can expect to get to their destinations on time and have smoother trips, which will improve the whole experience of commuting. So what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments. I've been Rylan, you're watching Legendary Builds, and we'll see you next time.